Happening now, the family of a 35 year old man who died in custody is speaking out against the Fulton County Jail, claiming he was eaten alive by bed bugs while behind bars. Alumni Live's Tracy A. McPierce spoke with the family who says no one deserves to die in such a horrible way. He was like an everyday person that liked to laugh, play, watch TV. He loved music. Brad McRae says after not speaking with his brother LaShawn Thompson for a while, he found out last year he'd been arrested in Atlanta in June and in September died in the Fulton County Jail. I just got a phone call that your brother was found unresponsive. But what made matters even worse was when he found out he had died in the psychiatric wing, covered in sores and bites from bed bugs. The Fulton County ME lists his cause of death as undetermined, but his family claims an infection from the bites led to his death. The pictures of Thompson's dead body covered in bites are graphic, and the pictures of his cell show the filthy conditions. Getting a loss was unbearable, something nobody should see those type of pictures. They put that man in that cell, left him there to die. On Thursday afternoon, McRae and his family joined attorney Michael Harper to bring attention to Thompson's death and demand change. Asking for a criminal investigation and asking for the jail to be shut down. We reached out to the Fulton County Sheriff's Office about the family considering a lawsuit, and they responded with condolences for Thompson's family. They also shared that after Thompson's death, immediate action was taken, including, but not limited to, $500,000 to address an infestation of bed bugs, lice, and other vermin and updating security rounds to include addressing sanitary conditions. The sheriff's office tells 11 Alive the investigation is ongoing and will determine whether any criminal charges are warranted. It could be your family members, so we just want people to stand up and talk about it and, and get it to the public. The family's attorney says they plan on filing a lawsuit against the Fulton County Sheriff and detention officers once they get proof that the bed bud bites did lead to his death. They say they do expect that will happen in the next couple of months.